Merapi lava dam has exploded and erupted again. This is a lava dam formed uh, in recent years. And actually creation of it was because of eruption, which reduced the height of the volcano for, by 39 mil, uh, meters. It's usually 1,300 and something, and it's a little bit less now. Uh, but that means the uh, andesitic uh, lava of this volcano is continuously blocking the passage of the magma from the summit and it creates this kind of explosions and the lava which flows in a way uh, like a viscous brittle material as you can see it must be scary in the night when you look at this uh, eruption and we had also explosive eruptions but for the people who live around that area and three millions of them live in uh, in the nearby towns and villages and it must be really scary in the night to wait there to look at it. Of course, the older people understand this volcano better than any, any of one of us. And they remember how it was. So they're not that scared by this. People have learned to live with this uh, uh, volcano, being at the doorstep of the house. And um, the viscous nature of it is not a problem. In the past, it was erupting basaltic lava. Now it is andesitic lava, which is a convergent uh, plates. Uh, of course, Indo uh, Indo Australian plate undergoing subduction under the Eurasian plate creates this volcanic eruption. Of course, it's part of the big uh, bigger picture of the Ring of Fire, Indo Pacific Ring of Fire. There are books about it which I recommend if you are knowledgeable enough to read that.